so good. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Flavorful. Woo! And you get that kick from the Cajun and the, the shrimp. Oh my goodness, you don't even need no hot sauce. Good, this is good. Stay tuned if you wanna see how to make this sausage and shrimp cabbage skillet. So easy, so flavorful, so delicious. Stay tuned. Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. The ingredients that I'm using is this Hillshire Farm beef smoked sausage, this New Orleans, well, Johnsonville, New Orleans, and Dewey sausage. So this is beef, this is pork. A tip, quick tip, so you don't have to cut your cabbage by the coleslaw. Just, it's cabbage, read it. Green cabbage, carrots, red cabbage. Boom, saves you time and a mess. We got some minced garlic, some onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, Himalayan pink salt. We got my shrimp. This is seasoned with some Cajun seasoning, some garlic pepper, all that good stuff. Ready to go last. I also have some <clears throat> cut up yellow onion. My favorite, bacon grease. This is optional. You could also um, put bacon in the pan and use the fat from there, but I'm not gonna add bacon to this. Garlic and herb butter, Lando Lakes. We are heating up our pan. I got a big pan because cabbage it's big when it goes in, but it reduces just like spinach. But you want to have room so you can stir. So like I said, this is optional, the bacon grease. Butter. You can always add more later. That bacon grease and butter, just alone, smells like garlic bacon. <laughs> add your onions. Since we want our onions to be a little bit, of, a little bit soft. Give that a good swirl around the pan. Since we're leaving the onions in the pan, we're not gonna cook them all the way down yet. Usually if you do remove the onions, you wanna cook them down and then remove, but the onions are gonna stay in the party. And coming to the party, we have our sausages, beef and pork. They're fully cooked already. So what we're really doing is heating them up and browning them. The only thing you're really cooking are the shrimp. Everything else you're like heating up, browning, you know, softening, all that. The only real raw thing in this dish is the shrimp. And the shrimp takes five minutes basically. Right now you don't have to season the pan because once you put the cabbage in, we're gonna season it 
that the salt is going to drain some of the moisture from it. So instead of seasoning this right now and then also the cabbage, we're just going to do it one time. This is actually a fast and easy dish. And it goes a long way. And it's it's rather rather affordable. Like the onions are what? How much are, is the onion? I didn't even use a whole onion. I use basically a half an onion. The sausages alone, like each pack, I would say maybe three, four dollars. And you're not using the whole pack. The shrimp. Um, I forgot how much the shrimp was, but I would say maybe like six seven dollars and you're not using the whole pack half of the pack the cabbage like two dollars the butter seasonings you have all that already so this is a good meal to make okay now sausages are getting nice and brown yeah level everything so everything can brown evenly and cook so now the bag of coleslaw that i have is a 16 ounce bag i found this in my local walmart i don't know if i'm gonna use both bags we'll see just eyeballing it i probably will use both bags because since i have a lot of meat and shrimp i wanted to actually you know be equal. I take these big pieces out. I'm not using them. Like this. Take it out. Blow it down your fire a little bit. Right now, I'm going to probably add half of the bag of another bag. Because like I said, this is going to cook down. We're going to add the salt this way. Some of that water could come out. Some pepper. Garlic. Onion. Minced garlic. Give that a good stir. Let everything coat. Like, yes. So like the cabbage was mm, dry. I don't know the real terminology. I'm not nowhere in professional chef or anything like that. But see how the cabbage was dry? Once you start mixing everything, then the cabbage, you know, gets all that juice at the bottom. It starts looking shiny because it's coated with the butter if you use it or the bacon fat or both yes. this piece gotta go this piece gotta go <laughs> my fire is on medium it's been on medium throughout this whole thing. You can actually finish it like this. This would be really real crunch because it's only been in there what like a good five minutes at most. But I'm gonna let it cook down a little bit more. And then we're going to add the shrimps and they'll all be done. Depending on your taste, I would say you could sample it. See if it's the amount of crunch that you want and the amount of season that you want. If not, you could cook it down more. You could actually cook it into like a soup. Basically, but I don't want it. I want it to be sauteed, aka fried cabbage. 
Look at that. I'm going to try the cabbage. Okay. It could be cooked down a little bit more. You know what's even better? Next day. When it sits with all the seasoning in it, the next day, OMG. If you want, add a little sprinkle of soy sauce. That will give it another level of taste. Okay. We're going to add our shrimp. Make a cavity. This shrimp is deveined, peeled, and seasoned. Put all that goodness in there. Let that shrimp cook. You're gonna give it a stir in about two minutes. Even though you still got shrimp on top, once you stir it and the heat hit, hit the shrimp, it's all just gonna cook. We're we'll sauteing in here, guys. Give it a stir. Still stir in the middle of the cavity. See how? Yes. Now look at all that season. It's about to be married with all of this cabbage and sausage and onions. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. You could have even cut the shrimp in half if you wanted small bite-sized pieces, but we kept them whole. Believe it or not, this meal is actually keto-friendly. Great go-to meal, okay. Shrimp looking pretty good. You don't want overcooked shrimp. We're gonna marry everything. Get all that seasoning together. And the shrimp is going to cook even more once you turn off the fire from the heat. Shrimp only takes about five to seven minutes to cook. Oh. So remember all that cabbage that we had? It cooked down. Everything looks nice and seasoned, glossy. But look. It went down. It cooked down just like spinach. Well, spinach is like the worst thing <laughs> when it cooks down. But yeah, we're going to turn off this fire. And there you have it. It's done. It's done. Look. You got your shrimp, your sausage. I don't know which sausage this is. If it's the pork or the beef. But your shrimp, your sausage, your cabbage, your onions. And this is a meal. Guys, this is a meal. Look at that. Look at that. You can taste test it and add right now, but like I said, 
if it's not good right now, the next day, this is like a plan ahead meal. The next day, even better. Let's see. I'm not even gonna take the meat yet. We're just looking for the cabbage. Stay tuned, we're about to plate this bad boy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Make sure we get some sausages. Some shrimp. All that good stuff in there. Yes, honey. Look at that. Let's make it pretty for the picture. That. I know it doesn't look appealing, but best to believe it is delicious. Let's try it out. Let's get the shrimp. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. Mmm. So good. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Flavorful. Woo. And you get that kick from the Cajun and the, the shrimp. Oh my goodness. You don't even need no hot sauce. Good. This is good. Let me enjoy this now. Mmm. So good. And I'm still sticking to keto. Mm. Shrimp. Mm. Delicious. And the fats that we use in there will keep you full. Don't forget we use bacon grease and butter. I'm gonna have to go back for seconds. <laughs> If you don't like a kick of heat, don't use Cajun seasoning. I wonder how lemon pepper shrimp would be in here. Or just regular garlic shrimp or something. Mm. Using that bag of coleslaw, cut this in half. And I feel like cutting up no cabbage head, having pieces all over the place. And the coleslaw is cut to perfect sizes. It's shredded. Can't get better than that. I find when I cut my own cabbage, it'd be different sizes. And don't cook evenly. Mm, 
Come on, sausage. That was delicious. That was good. I feel good about myself. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you can see the next time when I upload a cooking video or a travel video once we get over all this quarantine. See you in the next video.